Hello everyone. So welcome back in the topic, the projection of planes. So we have done with the some cases in this topic. So case one has been done. If you remember in the previous video, I have done with the both of these sub cases in which plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP and plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Okay, if you remember this thing. So this was the case in which my plane is my plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Okay, and this was the case in which my plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. So, okay, so today we'll be discussing about the next case, the case second, in which plane is perpendicular to both of the principal planes, that is horizontal plane and vertical plane. Okay, so let's see this. Okay, so this is over the question, and this is my imagination in first quadrant. Okay, and first let's uh, let's read out the question. Then we will see what is the imagination, and we will make this question accordingly. Okay, the question states that the equilateral triangle, the side is 60 mm, is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Okay, so. You can understand that this is the case in which plane is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Okay, so first of all, we have to imagine our plane, which is in this case equilateral triangle of side 60 mm. Okay, so let us suppose this is my triangle. This is my triangle, equilateral triangle ABC. I'll name it as ABC. Okay, so this is equilateral triangle and the plane is perpendicular to HP as well as perpendicular to VP means when you see this plane from the front view you see a line like this and when you see it from the top view you will see a line like this okay so the thing is uh, okay the thing is you cannot make a front view and top view in this case okay because you cannot see true shape the actual shape which is in this case equilateral triangle either from the front view and either from the top view so these type of cases you have to make a side view okay so in this imagination i'll make a left side view so you can see that the observer comes towards its own left and watch this triangle so it becomes your left side view okay and you know that to make the side view we have one more plane to be attached to your principal planes and the name of that plane is profile plane okay so we can very much clear that to make the side view we need a profile plane attached to our vp and hp over here okay and after getting the projection over here we will open it like that okay we will open like it that so that we can see this projection from the this side where observer always rests Okay, so let's see this question now. What are the constraints in this question? So his the examiner says that one of the corners of the triangle is on HP. Okay, so you can see that I'll uh, suppose this corner is on HP. So you can say that the distance from HP is given and that given distance is zero in this case. So you cannot assume your distance from HP over here. Okay, and the edge that the edge through that okay so what examiner says that on which point or which corner the triangle rests on HP the edge passes through that end or corner should be inclined at 45 degree should be inclined at 45 degree to HP so you can take either edge you can take this one AC you can also take AB Okay, you can take any one of these edges and which is inclined at, at, at an angle of 45 degree with HP. Okay, so you are going to make the projections of this triangle. So you have to make the front view and top. Okay, so you cannot make this triangle from the front view and top view first. So first you have to make the side view because from the side view, I can see the complete true shape. Okay, and you know that how to make that. So this is your reference line xy line so 
let's make a side view first okay so take a line and mark a line over here which is exactly orthogonal to your reference line okay like this basically this line represents your profile plane okay so this line basically this is the line which represents this line over here over here you are going to make a side view so if you remember this is a front view top view and this is your side view left side view in this case okay now make a triangle over here and the constraint is the one of the edge should be at a 45 to hp so first i will make that i take a line and this one okay so i'll take okay i'll take this line let's suppose this is the line this is the edge which is at an angle of 45 degree okay so you know that how to write this you have to use your polar coordinate system which is at the rate and the length is 60 mm 60 less than angle is 45 so this is the case okay so this is what examiner wants that it should be at an angle of 45 degrees so i'll take any one of edge okay i'll take this one edge, this edge okay let's see okay so now you have to complete your triangle now so if you are using means a traditional system the drafter system and the engine in drawing sheet and using drawing board and using pencil and compass to make this drawing so what you are going to do is you uh, to complete this triangle you are just putting your compass and open your compass 60 mm okay because the side of the triangle is 60 mm and open your compass and put your compass steel part of the compass over here on this point okay and make an arc over here make an arc over here like this okay in the same way put your compass over here and the steel part of compass over here and make an arc where these two arcs meet okay where that point becomes your b point okay so you can see that this is my a point this is c point and wherever these both lines meet that becomes your b point okay but but we are using autocad so we have to use circle okay instead of compass because what the use of compass compass is used to make circles so we will use circle command directly okay so you can see that this is my center okay and the radius is in this case is 60 like this okay again take a circle and this one and radius is again 60 okay so this is what i need i'll take this point i need only this point okay so now take a line from here this one again take a line from here this one okay now delete this one i don't need these now my my triangle is complete now okay so you can understand this way okay so this is my point a this is my point c this is my point b okay make a nomenclature here so you can understand better way. okay so this is a dash dash remember it it is a side view so you have to make like this okay go to the properties so seven okay then move and this is this one okay so this is a dash dash okay and make it copy put over here put over here also okay so this is b dash this is b dash dash okay and this is c dash dash well so this is a side view of my triangle like this the profile plane on the profile plane when it opens like this it should be viewed like that okay so let's make it 
okay this is a, just a not a complete triangle this is a similar not a similar parts so we are going to join these lines with the help of join commands i'll just select all the lines and in the command line bar i only need to write join okay so you can see here i'll read join and enter so you can see here now this is a complete triangle okay now i'll make this dark or thick as per your line of conventions okay now you have you are going to make now top view first and how to make your top view let's see now you have to take the projections of all the points these points to your reference line exactly 90 degree you know that so this one also that thing now you take your these uh, distances to over here like this so again if you are using compass put your steel part of the compass on this intersection and make this distance and make an arc over here but you are using autocad and instead of that i'll use circle so this one all up to this one so this is this arc what i need okay so the rest of the circle i don't need make it trim i don't need this this one okay in the same way again take a circle put over here and this one okay i don't need the rest part so remove that one this one this one this one and select this delete okay again take a circle so okay i'll little bit extend your line like this circle this one so okay so no problem it does just come out of that nothing no no problem with this i'll make like this okay so there's no problem okay i'll select this one then extend towards like this okay so now trim the other part uh, the which i don't need i don't need this this one this one this one so uh, this one i don't need these things okay now extend your these projections from upwards basically what i did now here is i take the projections of my points towards here towards your top view and this also project over this here this also projects to this side okay now i'll take these all projections something more into your top view okay this one this one over here like this okay now take a line take a line and make a line over here nothing else you need okay just make a line and this i tell you this is your top view make it thick so this is your top view remember it this 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 thing what i made over here nothing else okay so now extend your line this line towards upward to make the front view okay again take a line and make a projection to this side so up to only this again take a line come over here and i don't need these lines because it is already projected on my reference line so i know that this point is a okay so just now you are going to make like this okay so okay basically i am exploding this now this one so you can see here you can make a line over here like this one and this one okay so this line is your front view you can make it thick like this so i'm done with everything now so the projection has been done 
Let's just trim the other parts which I don't need. I don't need this, these, these things. Again, take trim. I don't need this also. Okay, so you can see that it is very, very uh, complex question because in this question you have to make the side view first. Okay, so little bit, little bit of imagination is necessary to make this question. Okay. So now I am left with only nomenclature. So I can I will nomenclature like this. So you can see that this is B projection. So this is point B. Okay. So you make it like this. This is B point. Okay. You make it a little bit more high table. This one seven. Okay. Done. And I just put over here move command select it make it a little bit closer to actual point okay so this is b in the same way i'll okay i'll make it copy put over here put over here put over here here and as well here okay so we know that this point is an actual it is a so we'll write down a over here in the same way select this one this is c c okay and this is your b so let it be b this is your c so c dash okay okay so it is also b dash done and this is your a dash done okay so this is a completion of question i'm rest with only dimensions so you can take a dimension of 60 mm and angle which is given so take a dimension a line dimension this one okay so this one this one 60 mm okay and take an angular dimension now so you know that we'll take this as a 45 over here okay so there is no need to take these dimensions okay these dimensions don't need to take these are apparent apparent lengths we don't need these things okay we are going to only make the dimension of actuals which is an actual so this is your true shape this is a true length of your true shape which is 60 mm as per the question and also examiner so says that your plane is at an angle of 45 with hp so these things what i need I'm rest I'm done with the, all the question nomenclature done projection lens should be thin your actual apparent lens should be dark your true shape should be dark okay so this is my projection of triangle okay I hope you understand this question if you like this video please like it and comment in the comment section if you asked if you have any problem please comment in the section if you do not understand this question please comment in the section and if you like it please 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 subscribe my channel so will i will meet you in every questions okay thank you friends